Hello guys, this is me, Yuvaraj, your moderator. So today, we are going to learn an in interesting topic called Node.js. So, what is Node.js? It's a backend language where you will code the backend code of your website or an app. So, as you can see here, this is my file of Deshmukhi Express. So, what do I do? So, what do I do? I'll save this. It's already saved. Now, let me open this file. It's already zipped, unzipped. So, how you can unzip is let's click on the right click. So, I mean, click on the right click and click on extract. And this will happen and it, the, your file will extract. Now, how to put this in studio code? It's very simple. As you can see, this is my Visual Studio Code. Now, let my uh, just drag this file to Visual Studio Code, and voila, you have Visual Studio Code and my Facebook Express. So, how to where to begin? Like, okay, let's go with business logic that's where you create your own api so as you can see there's this business logic that's where you create your api in create.js so this is the file of api where you give the instructions for to create api and where to collect the data etc etc so i need my api to collect parameters what parameters now in deshmukhi express as you know there are four main parameters so what is the one first thing you just write that is category category yes comma so this is what i'm doing here is to adding the parameters so let me finish up let me fill this fast so for your easy convenience and save your time so there we go i fill up the four main uh, parameters which is called category requirement time and fare so this is taught by you about the shmuki express pa parameters now what do i do let's check my chrome that is my website working or not now look lost yes Oh, so this is saying this website is cannot be reached. Now what do I do? Let me put this aside. Now I will make my server run. How? Okay, it's already there. My config.json. So this is the syntax where I'll put my address of the you know website. Now what? How to make my backend run in server? So go to terminal, new terminal. So this is the place where you you know address i mean do the command to the file so what do i do i do npm i and click enter so what is npm npm stands for node package manager so this is the thing which helps us to install or run the backend language or the backend application into the server so i have done npm i i stands for install and everything is done like okay it's all installed in the server now what do i do npm start this what does is it makes our server functionable so now as you can see server listening on the port 3000 so let's go to chrome again and see is my server is working or not so let's go wait 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 yeah hey now my server is listening voila so this is how you make your backend language. I mean, this is how you make npm and npm start and make your backend code into the server. So now this part is done. So now what do I do? I do is I'll test my API because I just created my I just created my API in front of you. So I don't know if my API is working or not. So how do I test my api i mean how do i know like my api is working or not so there is this extension called thunder client 
where you can download it in the extension of uh, Visual Studio Core. So let's go with Thunder Client and see is how to do how to test my API. Now, as you can see, there is this new request, and here is the portal. This is where you test the API. Now, th this is the URL code. This is where you enter the URL. So, what is my URL of my website? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, what is the URL of my website? Now, what do I go? I go to inspect and here uh, go to network and yeah, fetch.xr. What do I do? I click on login. Here in the network, you can see, uh, here you can see the request URL. So, this is my URL where I'm going to post. I mean paste in my thunder client so let me go check in the website yeah so here I'll paste my URL but what do I, what are we testing only API so the syntax of the URL will be okay the spelling will be HTTP col column double slash localhost 3000 slash API slash app because we are testing only the API now what do I do? Now what do I do? I'll go to mm, I'll go to my body here in JSON. So here what do I do? My API is going to take some parameters, right? So I need to place the parameters where the API is going to take. So let me just grab, I mean let, let me just type the parameters in front of you so I pasted my URL now what do I do I have logged in with my UID what does API do API create a cookie so what is this cookie cookie is nothing but the session ID where it identifies the UID I mean the user ID in some uh, in some random things like yeah set cookie session id where you can see something uh blah 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 written in this thing so what do i do i copy this copy this session id and paste it in header yeah here it's going to be my cookie so cookie again i'm telling you cookie is the session id where the API creates a unique ID to address the user ID. So that's nothing but called as that is nothing but it's called cookie. Now everything is set and what type of API I'm going to test it's going to be post. So first let me test my API. Hey it's saying my API is running okay. Like status, it's showing me okay, and code is showing okay, message is also okay, and acknowledge is true, which means my API is fully functional. And let me test my get API in my website. So let me click again. Hey, again, it's showing me okay, which means my API is ready. I mean, it's functional, there's no errors, so and so. So why do we use get API? Get means the API which is going to take the UID. I mean the details from the user, right? He's going to order like a pizza or he wants to go to butter singer um, etc etc. So this is the get API. And what is post API? Post API is nothing but the response. Is it like taking um, care etc. So these are the two APIs I've tested in front of you. So, till now, the Node.js uh, Node session 1 is completed. Thank you. This is Yuvraj signing off. Goodbye.